CCG just gave me this as I was recording technically my next video now, and I, uh, I really want to talk about this. So this is something that the, they released to the content creators a couple of days ago, but it wasn't translated. So we didn't get to read any of this. I didn't get to read any of this until it was released uh, about 40 minutes ago on the dot. And they said that we were able to share it. So here I am sharing it to you guys. I'm assuming this is going up like at six in the morning or some, some ridiculous time. So they released this to us. The way I understand this, it's linked ba like each line is how like how blocks of lore kind of fit together and you can kind of see that if you look especially down at some of the ones themed around a certain kind of mythology like uh well here's uh egypt right here we got anubis cleopatra mummy pharaoh uh chinese basashi and hattori um like kind of you know, Christianity, Lucifer, Mikhail, Fallen Angel. They're, that's how they're kind of grouped going down. The colors, what they mean is, so blue is the least used unit, red is the most used unit, and green represents kind of in the middle. It kind of surprises me, especially because I saw Elven Queen right here, and like Elven Queen is my most used five star, so I don't, I don't understand where they get these metrics from. I'm, assu I'm assuming they have access to it in the game. But anyway, this was released to us so i just kind of wanted to go through and talk about what each one of these heroes like kind of who they are so if we go and look at the first one the ancient statue well if you look at the the kind of group that it's in that kind of tells you a little more i think than what uh what just the name means because ancient statue could literally be anything like it's kind of like destruction idol could have been anything but this is what it is so if you look the first two are kind of like dragon themed things you got dragons you got a statue giant stone chinese dragon which i think is going to be a really cool unit if that's what it actually is i'm assuming that's what it is so i'm assuming this is going to be having stuff to do with like uh like burns uh extra fun stuff like that maybe damage based on amount of burns i know we already have some units kind of like that with the like the garuda but you know this just this just kind of it kind of says burns to me because dragon i mean the draconian princess does it dragon dragoon doesn't but he's more of like a dragon knight type thing uh so ancient statue i'm assuming is going to be a giant stone chinese dragon which i think is awesome nobunaga now nobunaga he was well if you look at hattori and musashi i'm pretty sure don't quote me on this because i'm not the best at history but I'm pretty sure all three of these were like great ancient samurais. So Nobunaga, I actually used to play an old game like five or six years ago. It was like samurai versus zombies or something like that. Uh, and Nobunaga was one of the heroes. He wielded a giant sword. He was a great swordsman. So that says attacking unit to me. Uh, we have no idea what their skills are. They haven't released that to us. I have no idea. They, it, this isn't something where they're like, don't tell people. I legit have no idea on this. So that's kind of who Nobunaga is. Anubis, uh, Anubis kind of surprises me. I figured they would add, you know, some other Egyptian gods than Anubis, but yeah, they're picking him. So he is the god of, I, I just Googled it. It's like mummification and uh, the afterlife. That, that's what he's the god of. And I'm surprised about that because the Pharaoh kind of looks like how Anubis is depicted. So I'm assuming like when I picture Anubis, he's just going to be a beefed up version of the Pharaoh. That's pretty much it. Uh, I have no idea what his skills are going to be, but if I had to guess, I mean, mummification in the afterlife, I'm assuming if you want to go with mummification and thinking like wrapping, like binding people potentially, um, afterlife i mean that could literally be any skill that <laughs> that deals damage that kills something uh maybe placing special marks on things that cause them to take more damage or, or die faster i don't know we'll see um hercules now if you know anything about like mythology what you're taught in like third or fourth grade is like one of the first things you hear is hercules and now my only problem with this and i'm sure i'm sure this this is just kind of me nitpicking but if you're going to place him alongside like other greek units and say that he is kind of a greek inspired unit at least get his name right so 
and this is something I didn't even say in my last video, but Hercules is the Roman form of his name. Uh, the actual Greek term of his name is Heracles, because he was named after the Greek god Hera. A whole long story, but Zeus was trying to make up for uh, sleeping around on some other chicks, and his uh, uh, goddess wife was like, hey, don't do that. And he was like, oh, here's a baby named after you. A whole big, long, stupid thing. Sorry, I just basically told the whole story. But yeah, so Hercules was the son of Zeus, and he was... He was like the strongest mortal man in Greek mythology. So what that says to me is more of a tank unit rather than attacker. Because strength is kind of more regarded as a tanky type thing in this. Um, so I'm kind of thinking big tank maybe dealing a lot of damage. I'm thinking like an HP type nuker with him. But time will tell. Maybe I'll be right, maybe I'm not. Thor, if you've seen a Marvel movie, you know who Thor is. Thor, Thor's, he's got, you know, a funny hat, uh, he's got a cape, he swings a, a big hammer and deals a bunch of lightning damage to everybody. Uh, so that tells me attacker, I don't know if they're gonna add any fun type of skills to that. Uh, we can kind of assume that he's gonna be an LD unit because that's kind of where they seem to be wanting to throw like Norse and Greek gods like god type heroes they're putting them as LDs I mean you can see that with uh with Odin too Odin is on here somewhere I think he's up top somewhere uh but Odin is Thor's father I feel like I said Zeus a little bit ago I don't know why I said Zeus but Thor is Odin's son it is North mythology, not Greek. I don't know why I thought that. Yeah, because it's 5 a.m. and I need sleep. Hela is actually Thor's sister. Uh, if you've seen Thor Ragnarok, you know Hela. She's the like Norse god of death. Can do a whole bunch of death stuff. And she's like incredibly powerful. And yeah, like pretty much her whole thing is just killing things. So I'm assuming attack type for both of these units and probably LDs. Next one, Lilith. I actually had to look this up. Uh, I'm going to look it up again just because I want to make sure to get it right. She's actually from Jewish Jewish mythology. And so Lilith is actually a demon from the Jewish tradition. In some sources, she is conceived of as the original woman created even before Eve. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so that makes sense that um, she's linked with Eve right here. I don't know who Tyr originally was. I originally heard he was like a, a, like a Babylonian fighter or something. That kind of makes sense, actually. Uh, but yeah, so Lilith is regarded as a demon, so I'm assuming she's going to be a dark unit and kind of like the other half of Eve. I don't know if they're going to be putting Adam in the game, but that would be kind of cool. But yeah, so she's a demon, so I'm assuming dark, <laughs> dark Nat 5 with a whole bunch of fun effects. Uh, the Daji. Now, I had to look him up too. He is something from Chinese folklore. So Daji was the favorite consort of King Zhao of Shang, the last dynasty, the last king of the Shang dynasty in ancient China. She is portrayed as a malevolent fox spirit in legends as well as novels. So that to me, for some reason, it kind of says she's going to be an assist type. Um, let's see. She's linked with Enchantress. Yeah, so I'm assuming um, something similar to the Enchantress, at least style wise. Um, but we can assume that they're going to be, I mean, we can assume they're going to be linked in the lore. But the Dodgy, for some reason, I, I think assist type when I just hear like a malevolent fox spirit. That That's kind of how I feel. That might be completely wrong, but who knows? Um, Merlin. Okay, so Merlin is like, I, I, I still don't know how to say this, like Anglo-Saxon or Britannic ancient folklore. Merlin is kind of like the, uh, the guide to Arthur. He's the one who helps him, you know, get the, get the sword and do all the fun stuff. Uh, he's a sorcerer and we don't, I don't know if his powers are more like uh like beneficial type things or if they're more like oh i'm gonna like blow up this entire field of soldiers i don't know so i can't say anything about that but i do know that he is a sorcerer i'm expecting something kind of like archmage but we'll see and then yin okay so this kind of gets me excited because i can only assume that yin is going to be a dark nat 5 and i say that because 
in Chinese folklore, yin is the dark half of the yin yang. So the circle, the the swirl with the two dots in it, yin is the dark half of that. It is the female principle of the universe characterized as female. I don't know why this says it twice. And it's standing and associated with earth, dark and cold. Dark, that, that naturally makes me think that. Uh, in ancient Chinese philosophy, Yin and Yang is a concept of dualism, describing how seemingly uh, it's also from uh, Taoism and Taoism, which I mean, Tao isn't LG Nat Five. Tao is a uh, lawful, but that still makes me think that Yin is going to be a dark Nat Five. Once again, though, time will tell. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think of this. Uh, I'm curious about the lore. I have read a little bit of it. They've allowed us to read that. I don't know if I'm able to share that, but if I am, I will gladly read that off in a video in the future or maybe just on Twitch stream. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. I'd love to hear what you guys expect of the lore. Really anything at all involving this. Let me know down in the comments or maybe just pop over to my Twitch stream and we'll chat. I just got affiliate status, so I added a couple of fun things to the channel that I hope people enjoy. So maybe come head over, drop a follow, maybe drop a subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and wreck that like button as well as the subscribe button down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.